news outlet and not from CNN. Wolf. Jim Acosta at the White House briefing room. Jim, thank you very much. Uh, there's more breaking news right now. Otto uh, Warm Beer, the University of Virginia student who was held by North Korea for nearly a year and a half, has died just days after being returned to the United States in a coma. Let's bring in our chief national security correspondent, Jim uh, Shudo. Jim, what are you finding out about this? Well, we learned about this just in the last few moments uh, based on a statement from his family, a sad statement saying that just after 2 o'clock this afternoon that Warm Beer died. I'm going to quote from that statement now. When Otto returned to Cincinnati late on June 13th, he was unable to speak, unable to see, and unable to react to verbal commands. He looked very uncomfortable, almost anguished, although he would never hear his voice again within a day. The countenance of his face had changed. He was at peace. He was home, and we believe that he could sense that. But certainly, uh, extremely sad news for the family. You may remember he was held in North Korea for some 17 months, accused by North Korea of stealing a propaganda banner from the hotel. That account challenged by fellow travelers on his trip. He went to North Korea with an adventure travel company. Uh, Wolf, he was captured there he was, as he was leaving Pyongyang by flight. He was taken away, and it was a couple of weeks later that the North Koreans accused him of this. You may remember there was a show trial, a tearful confession by Warm Beer there that was presumably under duress, and then we didn't hear about him. And it was a couple of weeks ago when we understand that the U.S. State Department learned of his medical condition, uh, that he was in a coma. He was returned, sadly close to his death, and we learned today that he did die. Yeah, now the, uh, the Trump administration has got to make a major decision. What, if anything, if, if anything, does the U.S. do about this as far as North Korea is That's concerned? That's exactly right. In effect, North Korea detained a young American without cause, and he died. Not, not in their custody, but he was returned very close to death, and uh, by any measure, North Korea responsible, in effect, for his death. I've reached out to the White House for comment, how they're going to react to this. I, we have not gotten it yet, but it is a big test for U.S.-North Korea policy going forward. It certainly is. All right. Uh, there's another breaking story we're following.